Hi everybody, it's Carrie, and today I get to share with you the kit that I put together, um, my scrapbook kit for summertime, using the Two Girls in a Kit uh, recipe card and mood board. So I chose the items for my kit um, from the colors here, and then also um, I chose some things based on the stars and the fruit and some other fun elements from the mood board. So, <clears throat> let's see here. Um, so for the recipe card, let's see, it says eight pattern papers, three card stock, two specialty. So, these are the two specialty papers I used. Um, this one is the Dear Lizzie Polka Dot Party uh, clear heart paper, totally cute. I love it. Um, this is just some really great paper that has like this raised kind of gold dot on it. It's textured, so it's really nice. Um, for my cardstock, I chose the back side of this Cartabella uh, Wildflower. Um, this one's called Aztec, and it's a really pretty green. That's the other side. And I thought this went really well with that minty color that was in the kit. And then this is the other piece I picked for the cardstock. I don't remember what this one's called because I tore the branding strip off, strip off of it, but it's also from the Cartabella Wild Flower Collection. And then this is the last piece of cardstock that I chose. It's a pretty kind of watercolor looking or paint looking um, yellow paper. And I'm not sure who this is from. It's from a paper pack. Um, it could be from Dear Lizzie or um, Amy Tangerine. I'm not sure exactly. But um, anyways, uh, so those are those. And then here are my eight patterned papers. So let me spread these out for you so far. So I have, let's see, that, 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 and this. So for my pattern papers, I have this one from the Amy Tangerine Plus One, and it's from the paper pack, so it's just plain on the other side. Um, this one, which is from the Studio Calico paper pack. Um, forget the name of it. Um, just a pretty kind of glittered purple. I really wanted to try and add the shades of purple that were in the mood board in here. Um, and then here's another pretty purple. And I used glitter because I really didn't have these in cardstock colors. So that's why I ended up using the glitter. And then this is, let's see, it's a Studio Calico South of Market collection. This one's called Grass Fed. And I really liked this blue kind of I don't know if it's like a hound's tooth or, but anyways, it's a really pretty baby blue and it went really well. And then this is a crepe paper, um, flea market, it's called Open Air. And it has a pretty pink bokeh. And then this is just a handmade paper, a specialty paper. It has a really great kind of shimmer to it. I don't have a lot of red papers because I tend to use them, so. That's why I ended up using that. And then this is a Dear Lizzie, I believe, polka dot party paper. This is the backside of a We Are Memory Keepers. It's called Inked Rose and Inked. And I liked this backside because it had the orange and the pink splatters. And then um, the Glitz Design 77. It's um, Fabulous front with coordinating back stripe. So those are my papers. They're so colorful. I just, oh, I just love them. So there's that. You can see. It was hard. I actually, I may have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have ten patterned papers instead of eight. And then one, two, three cardstock and two specialty. So. I went a little overboard, but that's because I wanted to try and get all the different colors in. Um, so there's that. 
And let me see if I can move this here. I'll put it over here for now. And then I also added, this isn't in the recipe, but I also added a bunch of scraps. Um, I have these really great scraps from just handmade paper pads that I get at just the craft stores. And they're just little strips of paper that I thought were pretty summery colors. And again, I thought that they went with the color scheme. So I have those and they're this really great handmade paper texture. And then I have the cut apart sheets from the Dear Lizzie polka dot party, which I thought went really well. And then I didn't end up using this from um, our spring summer kit where it says you are loved. And I was thinking I might cut that into four by four and use it in my mini book. Um, Cause I thought that the colors went really well. So I have those. And then next it says alphabets, three alphabets, any variety. And I had these in last time, last my last kit. I didn't end up using them. The Calberteski in black. So I have those because I love using black. Um, I also grabbed these thickers. It says puffy letter stickers are called Serenade. And they're a really pretty mint green color. Um, so I wanted to add those. And then I don't know if I'm going to be able to use these or not. These are new. They're just rub on letters. Um, and they're a quarter inch, they're really tiny. And the reason I grabbed these is because I wanted something small to use in my mini book um, since I'm gonna have little two by two size pockets. And so let me take these out and I'll show you what I mean. They're, um, if they were sticker letters, they'd be really easy to use and I'd know that I'd use them for sure. But they're, um, they're rub-ons and they're so tiny I could see it taking a really long time to spell out what you need if you cut everyone out. And if you don't cut everyone out, I could see you rubbing on letters that you don't want to. So I'm not sure exactly if I'm going to use those or not, but I really liked the idea of the size and I like the black. So um, in case those don't work out, I grabbed the Heidi Swap Alphabet. I just love this. There's, it's so hard to find purple. And I love these pretty purple alphas, so I'm really excited to use those. And then, their alphabets are definitely my favorite embellishments, so I added these really cute um, pink ones from Rec Recollections. Um, there's 48 pieces. It reminds me of the magnets, like from when you were a kid, you know? I think they're adorable. Um, so those are the alphabets. Let me move those. And then it says, let's see, embellishment, 10 packs, any variety. So um, I have these cute little robots. And I chose these because, well, I think robots are adorable. Um, but I also liked it because it had the purple. It's hard to find purple stuff. So I have those. And then I don't have many of these left, but I thought these would be really cute in the mini book that I'm doing. The Martha Stewart gold butterflies, um, some Studio Calico wood veneer. I bought these especially to use in my summer mini book because I was inspired by the fruit on the mood board and it has all these great different fruits on the back. So I could see those looking really cute in some of the little 2x2 two two pockets or 4x4 four four pockets. Um, so there's those and then I have these cute recollections bows. And even though they're kind of like tall, I don't think I'm gonna have a problem using them in my mini book. I don't think I have a problem with it being bulky. So um, I'm pretty excited to use these in my mini book or on like if I decide to do a layout. Um, and then sticking with the star theme, I have Starwood Veneer um, from Studio Calico. And then I have um, some more of the pier um, chipboard frames because I think these would be really cute in one of the 4x4 four four pockets in the mini book or I love using these on my scrapbook layouts. So I have a mint one, cream, cream with a little blue, cream and orange, pink, 
kind of a darker minty green and then two really tiny ones that are kind of cream with some red. Um, so I really liked those. And I don't have many of these left, but I really liked these stickers. They're like multi-dimensional um, from Sticko. And I tend to really like the Sticko um, embellishments. And again, I liked that there was purple. Um, and then the blue and the green are really pretty together too. So I have some of those. And then I have some... Um, little fabric tags that again I thought would be cute in my mini book because they're tiny size. One would be really cute in a 2x2 two two pocket. And then I have some other ones on the back side from, I think they're both basic gray. Yeah, this one's Hey Girl and this one is um, Fact and Fiction. Fact and, fiction. Um, and I really, I, I like using those a lot in my books. And then, let's see, the last embellishments I have are, have some enamel dots, some rhinestones, again trying to add purple and blues, and, and then I went out and got these today because I was determined to get, have star confetti pockets in my mini book. And so these ones are tiny little iridescent stars. And I love these. I used these for uh, uh, baby shower invitations I did for my sister. And then these are just the traditional ones. But it's great because there's different sizes. Because these are a larger size and then those are smaller. So, um, And then this is, I think this is like the 11th thing. And it, if you consider all three of them one pack. And um, I just really wanted to try and use some rub-ons. So the Amy Tan plus one rub-ons. I thought would be good. Um, these I, I are really old so I don't know if they still even work but they're basic gray rub-ons and it's some pretty white flowers and then these are Maya Road. Um, I liked the little arrows. Again I thought they'd be cute in little 2x2 two two pockets. Um, so those are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So yeah, I have, if you can it the way I did, it's eleven embellishments, so I went a little overboard. But I wanted to make sure I had enough so that I would um, be able to easily put my mini book together without having to feel like I was searching for something that just wasn't going to fit. So let's see. The next thing on the recipe card is stamps. One full set, one individual or mini set, and um, I really want to use this sealed with a kiss stamp. I think that's really cute. I used obviously a lot of heart paper in um, uh, my kit, and I kind of have you know like a heart and love theme. And it's partially just because you know I'm going to have a lot of stuff in reference to being pregnant and uh, enjoying that type of thing. So. I'm not sure if this counts or not, but I had to put a date stamp in there. And then um, this is the full stamp set that I'm really excited to use. I just got this in the Glitz August Kit Club. I love it has all the date, uh, the, the months. This is so adorable. Um, and then I like that it has, I don't know, I just feel like there's a lot of really useful things with the geotag and the arrows and this really great kind of circle and the feathers. I'm, um, I might use in this, this summer mini, but I have a feeling I might save them more for like autumn or fall. But um, I'm really excited to use this. I think this is a really cool stamp set. I don't have a lot of stamp sets, so I'm really looking forward to using that. Um, and then it says mixed media nail polish watercolor set. And I had gone through and picked the colors of the Peerless watercolors that I recently purchased um, that I thought that matched the mood board and the colors I was going for. So I put them aside and I have them here. And I let's see, I grabbed Daffodil Yellow, Poinsettia Red, Tea Rose Pink, 
El... 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 Elzerine Red? I'm not sure how to pronounce that, sorry about that. Um, Jacquemont, Jacques I'm not sure how to pronounce that either, Red. Amethyst, Heliotrope, Forget Me Not Blue, uh, Peacock Blue, Chrome Green Deep, and then Mauve. It's kind of a fun little extra color that I added in there that I thought went. So those are my watercolors. And then I didn't grab the nail polish because I figured I'd just go through that as I needed it. And then under optional, there's the 4x4 We Are Memory Keepers album, 4x4 um, and 2x2 photos and journaling cards, and sewing machine, various page protectors, spray mists, etc. So I have my 4x4 We Are Memory Keepers album, and I grabbed it in this beautiful like gray color. I believe it's called grayish or something, and I have my journaling cards in there that I'm going to use. And then I have extra page protectors. This is the 4x4, and these are the 2x2s. Um, and then I have these two little journaling card packs um, from We Are Memory Keepers, the album's made easy. And I'll show these two really cute, because I think this will make it kind of fun to be able to add these extra little things in there. Oh, and then I randomly threw this in here because how cute is this for summertime? Oh my gosh, look at how adorable this looks. I think that's like so perfect. So I had to throw that in there. It's adorable. This is a um, glitz design from the 77 paper uh, uh, die cut pack. So um, let's see. Here's the, this album's made easy is Inked Rose. And they come all nice and neat, like in little individual packets, but I took them out, so that's why they're kind of messy and all over. But, whew, you get all these tiny little pieces to fit in the little two by two pockets. And I thought that, again, that the colors went really well with the mood board. Um, some fun, really fun stuff here. And then here's the larger 4x4 ones. And there's some cute frames in here. I like this hello one a lot. I think that's really pretty. And then there's just some plain journaling cards. And they're double-sided. So one side, like for example for this one, it says, um, Florence et Don Esta, or something like that. I don't really speak French. Bloom where you are planted. So, it's kind of fun. You are simply wonderful. And then, same thing, but in a different language. Same thing, really cute. So, that's the inked rose. And then this one, I'm so excited. This is the silver and metallic. And so here are the these really great vellum. And they may not show up like really well in this lighting, but they're this really great metallic um, kind of shimmer to them. And there's um uh, there's silver, gold, and copper. So it's kind of great because you can kind of switch it up. They're so freaking cute. And you get a bunch of them per pack. 
I think they're really going to come in handy. I definitely know I'll use them in my mini book, but I think they'd be cute on a on a layout too. Um, and then it looks like I haven't really opened these small ones yet, but here I'll open one for you. So they come all nice and packaged, and I just kind of take them out and make a mess. Cute tiny little pieces. And it comes with a bunch of those little packs. There's a cute stripe. So, um, yeah, so you get the basic idea. Um, that's uh, all the goodies that I have pulled together for my kit. Um, embellishments, letters. More letters. Um, paper scraps. And then all my pretty papers. So, thanks so much for taking a peek. Um, if anybody has put a kit together, I would love to see. Don't forget to check out Amanda's video. And if you do decide to play along, um, Go ahead, post a photo, post um, whatever you're doing up on Instagram or Twitter or on your blog. And if it is somewhere like Instagram or Twitter, just use the hashtag Two Girls in a Kit so that everybody can see. I know Amanda and I have really been enjoying what you guys have been sharing. So thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.